Brad, um, today didn't get the result, but second half, I thought you guys really uh, played with a lot of aggression, you know, really came out and played hard in that final 45 minutes, and, you know, maybe that can be a springboard as you get on, um, get ready for BG on Sunday. Yeah, I, you know, the players did, um, I think, a good job of what we asked them to do in the second half. We adjusted, obviously, to uh, from first half to second half and did a much better job. I think the game plan was probably flawed on my part from the beginning. Um, you know, I, I didn't think I put the kids in a very good position at the beginning of the game. You know, and that's a coaching issue, and I have to do a better job. Um, but they did a, a good job in the second half and created a little bit. I don't, you know, had a chance or two, a couple mm -hmm. dangerous restarts, a couple of good crosses from Rachel on the left side. You know, um, thought Megan Connor got in at the end. You know, so there were some positives, and you know, you, you got to have a good short-term memory loss at this point and move mm -hmm. forward and take the lessons and take the video from this and use this for later in the season. Hopefully, you know, we have an opportunity to get to the tournament in advance and see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, Central Michigan, um, you know, we always talk about being dangerous on restarts and today, you know, they were able to take advantage of that. You know, it was just a four-person wall and uh, Brandon was able to bend that shot around, you know. That's yeah, a, that's I think it's uh, those are things you have to look at, you know, whether, you know, positioning on goalkeeper was the wall effective enough, was there communication, was it deflected, I, I you know, I don't know, and I'm not going to sure. try and sort that out during the game, we'll just deal with that after as a learning experience, and that might be the first restart goal we've conceded this year, so, you know, it's a bad time to do it, for sure, but I don't think we've been poor on restarts either, defensively, so, you know, there's something part of the game. Mm -hmm. um, injuries today, um, you don't can't assess them, but, you know, a bunch of players go down, you think it was just, uh, just a hard-fought clean battle, I mean, between two very good competitive teams. Sure, and I feel I feel bad. I feel bad for Molly Cantwell, and I feel bad for her, their... Josie. Josie, I, you know, she went out, and she looks like she's in a lot of pain, and that's... You don't want to see that, and sure. I thought there were some good, hard challenges. I thought that some players from both sides looked a little sloppy, a little late, and that that's... Whether that's rivalry or not, I don't know if there's a place for that in what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, um, we just take it and move forward. Mm -hmm. And now, like you said, short-term memory. Uh, BG on Sunday. Yep. Your rivals. You know, hopefully it'll be a great turnout here at Scott Park. Um, you know, what what can we look forward to seeing when you when the Falcons take well, the field? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> we'll try and sort that out. And uh, you know, we have to determine you know what our fitness level is, who's healthy, who's not, and you know, we'll sort all that out tomorrow and make some decisions and and see how we want to go about playing and. You know, with this team, it's been a bit of a struggle to find a style that suits us. And one game, it's one way, and another game, it's another way. And, you know, again, if that's coaching or players or all of the above, we, we have to just keep plugging away until we find a formula that, uh, that works on a, in a given day. So three points up for grabs, and we uh, hopefully can do something about it. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks, and best of luck against the Falcons. All right. Thanks, guys.